hey guys welcome back to my channel so as you can tell by the title i did in fact get sent home from training and today i would like to give you guys my story time about what exactly happened and why i got sent home but before i do that make sure you like this video make sure you are subscribed if you're not already subscribed because I don't even see why you're not subscribed at this point. Um, yeah, and talk to me down in the comments. Let me know how is it going if you're in training, if you're not, if you're thinking about being a flight attendant, if you got sent home, whatever it is, let me know down in the comments. And without further ado, let's get started with this tea. So back in 2019 of November, yeah, November 2019. That's when I got hired and they said that training would start March, let's say like March 15th, March 17th, whatever. Like the weekend after St. Patrick's, the Monday after St. Patrick's Day. So I think that was March 18th, if I'm not mistaken, of 2020. So I had to fill out all my documents, um, send them in, do a drug test, um, do all these things, all these requirements, like go to the doctor, get a physical, jump, literally jump through a hoop and step on stairs and do all these different things just to prove that I can be a flight attendant, okay? There, there were a lot of checks and balances before you actually get sent off to train. You're also given a packet that you have to study that has all the information of, you know, the basics because once you arrive to the training center, the very next day you have an exam. Yeah, over the packet that they gave you. So yeah, and you have to I think you have to make a hundred or you can only miss two questions. You have to at least make a 90. So, or an 80. I, I don't know. You shouldn't even be worried about what's the least grade you need to make. You need to be aiming for a hundred. So, um, yeah, I had to study those items, do all of those little checks and balances before I could get to the training center in Utah. So I do all those things, um, everything that's required. So the time is March 2020 and the whole C-19 is getting serious. Um, and they're like, certain cities are shutting down and people are in the house and more and more people are getting sick. Um, my airline sends me an email and says hey we know that c19 is out there but we still want you to come to training and they send that email out on a thursday before i'm supposed to fly out on that monday right so i'm like okay this is real i'm still going i'm still good to go i'm going to training cool so i have my ticket this was when i was living in Atlanta so it was from Atlanta to Denver Denver to Utah to get to training so it's Monday morning I get on my flight from Atlanta to Denver okay and um I have like I think I have two suitcases with me. This is important because you, I believe you can check a bag. So that's good to know. You can check a bag and you don't have to worry about extra fees. So for those of you who are going to training, you can check a bag. And I don't want to say overpack because you do have to bring back your uniform and you don't want to mail it because it's heavy. Not that it's heavy, but when it comes to mailing things off, it's based on weight and that's a lot of weight. So don't make your suitcase so heavy to where you can't add anything to it, you wanna leave some room. And by leaving room, that means don't bring a whole bunch of clothes because I've grown like 
clothes to go out and go to the club just in case you won't have any time to do that so basically just bring business casual clothes to wear back to back bring about three and wash them and call it a day okay and everything else can be essentials and leave space for your uniforms anyways back to the story oh my goodness i forgot i'm gonna be cooking i'm gonna be making healthy food we got some vegetable pot stickers and some plant-based chicken tenders these are actually good i never had the vegetable pot stickers but i mean i, I like gyoza anyway so it's i know it's gonna be good anyways my bad getting off topic back to the story and make sure you guys are eating healthy if you're gonna be five tenants you should be eating healthy anyway because health is wealth but back to the story so went from atlanta to denver right i get to denver and i have a missed call and a voicemail and then um in the middle of me getting ready to answer my voicemail to listen to it i get another call and these are all from utah so obviously this is from like the training people because i don't know anybody from utah so i answer the phone they're like hey how are you and i'm like i'm fine why are you calling and they were just like yeah we just wanted to let you know that um we're gonna go ahead and send you back home we've already rearranged your tickets to go back home to atlanta you know the the conditions of c19 are getting very um dramatic and we just don't want to expose anyone or have anything happen so we think it's best if we just send all of our new trainees home and we will uh, revisit training at a later date and um, we'll keep you posted but for right now we just want you to go ahead and head back home okay So I'm like, you want me to what? You go home? You want me to go home? I was so like confused. Like, so there's no more training? So are we starting up next week? Or, and she's just like, I oh, will email you. We'll email you. Okay, have a good one. Like she's literally trying to rush me off the phone. And I'm just like, uh like confused so i'm in denver sitting there looking like um what just happened what is about to happen with my life because i thought i was going to training i thought i was about to be a flight attendant and now she's sending me home so i don't have a job and is this c19 thing real enough to keep me out of a job because I don't, I don't know what's going on so um they reticketed me to go back home they gave me first class <sighs> so of course i had some drinks because obviously that was a long day full of interesting news so i was like you know what let me drink up and plus that was a full day of being on the plane guys i went from atlanta to denver sat in the airport for like three hours and then came back to atlanta that was a taste of what being a flight attendant is like in real life so i went back home they sent everyone a general email that pretty much said yes we sent all attendees home we're going to reschedule training at a later date once c19 you know gets under wraps blah 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 so i'm like okay cool like i'm just gonna sit tight chill at home and you know just breathe chill with pepper whatever um i'm gonna i was in atlanta at the time so um they were not taking c19 seriously you could still go to work you still party club all that stuff it wasn't until the 20 the week of like the 23rd where they were really like shutting 
every job down and like the clubs were closed and all that then it got serious like basically the last week of march is when even atlanta was like okay we're done like we need to chill because the rest of the world is already chilling so why don't we do the same so yeah so i was sitting in the house and then um just waiting for a call back guys and this is my advice to you guys new flight attendants people who are interested in becoming a flight attendant you need to have patience because that's what i had patience because i just had to wait for a callback wait for an email they would send us like the first email they sent was like after the whole thing in march they sent us an email in like april and they were like the title literally said update still no update what and in the like bot in the like not bio but in the what do you call that area in the actual message it was like hey we're just letting you know that you're hired we still don't have a date for uh training but we wanted to let you know that w once we do we will reach out to you and you'll be the first to know so basically i got an email like that in april one in june one in august and then finally in november they sent us an email and was like hey we wanted to let you know that we're gonna start up training january 5th of 2021 and you have three days to let us know if you want this job or not y'all have literally held us by a thread for like eight months and then you want us to make a decision in three days as if life hasn't happened i mean a lot can happen in eight months like a lot can happen in eight months so i was just like wow they really want us to drop everything and just make a decision however you know because it was a panoramic and i wasn't really up to much when they sent me that email i literally emailed them back in like five minutes and was like see you next year you know super excited um i had to redo all of those checks and balances again i believe yeah most of them had to do the drug test again had to i had to do something else over again i can't remember it was a while ago but yeah so i had to do all of those things again and then i got flew down again to utah and then i started training so yeah all of that from supposed to be working march 2020 to january 2021 that's a big gap that's a big gap um and i just say all of that to say you need to have patience because if i had to endure all that weight and just sitting around waiting 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 that's pretty much the name of the game with being on reserve you're waiting to be called you're waiting on ready reserve you're waiting you're basically waiting just patiently wait wait for them to call you wait for them to give you a trip wait for them to give you your schedule like that's pretty much all it is so if you're one of those people who are like oh my god i need to know i need to know now like i want structure in my life like no they will structure your life for you especially on reserve and they'll let you know when they feel like letting you know so that is just my advice is to have patience um you never know what could be happening um in my instance i got sent home when they literally told me the week before that we're still doing training and then five days later they send me home because they canceled training so five days right when i'm thinking everything is a go so trust me things change so you need to be prepared for change that is my best advice have patience, be prepared for change, be able to adapt to change quickly. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.